in this week's edition of our series Social Entrepreneur where we take a look at the work of people who establish an enterprise with the aim of solving social problems or affecting social change. Today we are joined by Clev Kevin McLaughlin of Recreate. Kevin, you're very welcome and thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Could you give me a big picture view of Recreate and how it operates? Yeah, so I suppose Recreate is a social enterprise um, that collects end of line and unwanted materials from businesses. Um, we save them money on their disposal costs and then we also save the materials from being sent to landfill. We take them, we store them in our warehouse and then for an annual membership, creches, schools, community groups, you know, anybody really can join as a member and have unlimited access to the materials then. So saving them money on their arts budgets throughout the year as well, you know, it helps them do projects that I suppose otherwise wouldn't have been possible. Well, it's a fantastic enterprise and where did the inspiration for it come from? So um, the concept is called Creative Reuse. Um, so there will be, I suppose, scrap stores are in the UK. They're called scrap stores. They're kind of a chain. And there's a place in Belfast as well called the Play Resource Centre. That's about 20, 25 years up and running now. Um, they used to run bus trips up the north and back. And then five companies, South Dublin County Partnership, South Dublin County Council, Early Childhood Ireland, Tala Community Arts and Oakfield Trust got together. And they did a study to see whether it would be feasible to have something similar in Dublin. It came back yes, and um, then in July 2013, I came on board and we started working on a brand and a logo, and, and the rest kind of just went from there. Right. And uh, I understand that you recently won a Social Impact Entrepreneurs Award, which you have with you. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, I mean, we applied for for the Impact Award back in April or May of this year. I think 750 applications came in at the start. We got down to the final six in July. Um, we went through a boot camp, we worked very closely with Social Entrepreneurs Ireland and in October then we were lucky enough to be announced as one of the winners. Um, you know, it's, it's a really good award, there's a lot of good press and publicity comes with it, so we're really excited about the future. And um, you obviously you've received funds with that award, how will you use them? Yeah, so we received €140,000, um, so I suppose the main thing will be, uh, Deirdre here is our arts coordinator and um, she would look after a lot of our projects. She's the real creative spark to recreate. So, um, you know, keeping her on board um, for another year will be crucial. Um, a new premises is also massive for us. We're absolutely packed to the rafters in our current building. So a new building that's a bit more suit for purpose. Um, and staff development as well. I know myself, I'm hoping to do a postgrad in digital marketing, um, you know, and then other staff members as well will hopefully go on and do something in whatever positions they're in. Yeah. And uh, you also brought along one of your toolkits as well. Yeah, um, the toolkits are, are gas. Um, I suppose they're a bit of a marketing tool for ourselves, but um, we fill them with a sample of materials um, that, are, that are in our warehouse and we send them out to schools, community groups across Ireland. Um, you know, we'll give a little bit of a leaflet in it that this is a DIY workshop. They can use them for whatever way they want, but um, also then to kind of look at the materials inside you might see them lying around the house or, or, or the school, um, you know, going, uh, going on further and they'll save them then instead of throwing them in the bin and keep bringing them back in, keep the box full throughout the school year uh, uh, and, keep, and keep creating. Mm, right. And uh, who will be Recreate's main customers? Um, I suppose creches and primary schools will be our, the majority of our, our members. Um, you know, Early Childhood Ireland being so big behind the project were great to us at the start for, for letting creches know about Recreate and, and what we do. Um, so they would have been a, a big one at the start, but primary schools now are starting to find out about Recreate, and um, yeah, I mean, I mean, there's new members coming in every day. Okay, and then teachers are obviously very enthusiastic yeah, about yeah. it as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we, we get two types of people that come into Recreate. You get people that are creative and they just they know exactly what they're going to do with the materials and they're twirling about with happiness, and then you get people <laughs> that are, I suppose, a bit more kind of apprehensive like myself when I first started I was like well, what are we going to yeah. do with all this stuff well, I'm going to have to stop you there uh, we'll return to Kevin in a moment and we'll have a look at his own journey and how he got to where he is today but firstly we have our weekly competition and this week's prize is a great one Recreate have given us a year's membership for one lucky viewer this membership allows the holder to access Recreate and avail of their art materials you can see more mem membership options on their website recreate.ie for a competition, we turn to another great social entrepreneur for a chance to win. Simply answer this question. What was Gandhi's first name? Was it A, Barry, B, Mahatma, or C, Jerry? If you know the answer to the competition and would like to get your hands on this fantastic prize, then get your answer into us via email, Twitter, or Facebook. The details are on the screen now. And the best of luck.
Now, Kevin, can you tell us a little bit about your own history and how you got to where you got today? Um, yeah, I suppose <laughs> I'm a bit, a bit of a mixed bag, I suppose. I, I, I actually went to ID Tala myself. Um, I studied mechanical engineering, um, and here I am in a marketing role now, so I got a little bit lost along the way. But I actually I worked on the student union here in Tala for two years after I finished my degree. Um, and I just, I, I loved kind of working within a small business, you know, working with people and um, doing different campaigns throughout the year and stuff like that. And I kind of realized very quickly that, um, you know, engineering wasn't for me and it was more kind of business side and working with people rather than machines. And uh, what's next on the horizon for Greek Creative? Um, well, I suppose the new premises, is, it, it, after Christmas, the new premises is going to be a big one. Um, finding a new building, you know, um, moving moving from <laughs> from one to the other is going to be chaotic but also then in 2017 we're working on a project called all heads together which is a follow-on from some workshops that we did this year and um, so we'll be working with trinity college kind of around how our materials positively uh, positively benefit the mental health and well-being of of the individuals that are using them so be it little children and um, you know youths or, or, or adults as well so we started working with trinity this year and we're just in the middle of publishing a book about it and um, 2017 then we're hoping to, to push on with it and kind of delve deeper. And um, I suppose the end goal is, is to, to see, uh, we would call it creative exploration as, you know, um, in the primary school curriculum um, for everybody to study going forward because we really believe the benefits are, are huge. And Kevin, would you have any advice you'd give to a young entrepreneur starting a business? Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, prepare not to sleep. Um, <laughs> no, I suppose, look, you're, you're going to hit speed bumps um, you know there's so many speed bumps along the way you just have to keep going just keep believing in your idea um, I suppose the big one for recreate when we kind of you know the awards are brilliant and stuff like that but when you get that first bit of funding and um, that, that really shows like you, you're going to have a job going forward or you're, you're getting money to do the projects that you want to do and um, so just keep going and keep going and just yeah just never give up and um, could you tell me a little bit about Head Start? Heads up. Oh, heads up. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, so heads up is is a project that we worked on this year. So we, we got funding by from the Environmental Protection Agency this year to do heads up. So we worked with eighteen different groups. So six early years groups, six youth groups, and six adult groups. We we did a series of workshops with them using the recreate materials, um, and we took notes and we, we 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 had our artists take the take notes and take photos and document the whole process. So that's what we're putting together now in a book, which will be called Heads Up. Um, and as I said, it's in conjunction with Trinity College, so a lot of research and stuff has gone into it as well. Um, so the book has just gone to print today, so it should be, you know, um, ready to go maybe hopefully by next week. And we're hoping to launch it on the 14th of December. Okay, well, unfortunately, Kevin, there we must leave it. Uh, thanks for coming in and sharing no your problem. journey and recreate your journey. Thank you very much. No problem. Well, as you can see, this is quite an exciting time for social entrepreneurs. Don't forget to go onto our website at www.socialentrepreneur.com where you can get details of everything we've mentioned on the show. We also have exclusive behind the scenes material and you can sign up for our free newsletter which is packed full of tips on entrepreneurism. On our site you can also download podcasts of the show. Well, that's it for this week. Next week we meet the creator of another socially aware business. We'll see you then. Goodbye. <laughs>